hey guys and welcome back to another video as you can or as you probably saw in my last video um we are currently um suffering the third miscarriage in a row actually this week i wanted to finally upload all the videos i had for this pregnancies i made lots of videos um i didn't think that it would end this way again we were really, really hopeful. Um, so, this time, since I know what is coming and I know what I'm going through, I just thought for all those people who don't know what it is like to have a miscarriage, especially those who tell me, oh, just get over it, um, like after a day. I just wanted to make this video for those people to tell them it's not just a one day thing. Today is the third day of miscarrying. It's not done in one day unless you have a C and D and or a D and C I think. Um, I don't. I have a natural miscarriage right now um, which means lots of lots of bleeding so and I will show you what I'm going through so if you don't like blood or anything that is super TMI, then you should probably not continue watching this video. And if you're wondering why I'm not crying, it's because I cried so much already that right now I cannot cry anymore because there's no point. I'm just... I just... I don't know. I'm just dealing and surviving right now. So... This was my line. This was my line progression that I took in March. No, in May. Sorry, in May 23rd and 28th. And this is what we could see. Little dot, and she zoomed in, and this was the baby. Really small and no heartbeat, and yeah, it was like six week measuring six weeks one day. 0.52 centimeters, way too small. My stack of padding that my husband got me for the night and here in daytime because I need a lot of it. My little station next to the bathtub, my clothes, a towel that can get dirty, another towel with a block in case I need to sit up a little bit, trash can, lots of fluids and paddings up here, phone to watch some stuff, wipes, yep. The amount of blood loss in one pad and I already used one of those packages. Sitting in the bathtub in pain, waiting till stuff comes out and hoping that it isn't too messy and that I'm not freezing. That's the stuff that came out yesterday, really real blood, lots of stuff that came out, but it's not everything. I know there's so much more that has to come out, so we'll see. Today is Sunday. Last night I did sleep really well, but I did not bleed much anymore, which is not good because I still have lots of stuff in there. I know that because I know how much it has to be. Um, so this morning I drank some raspberry leaf tea because that helps with labor and since this is basically a small labor um, I hope that it will pick up some more contractions and it did right now I do have mild contractions but I hope they're picking up more so that all the rest can come out and I do not need to go back to the hospital because I kind of don't want to. 
Speaking of the devil, there's some more clots coming out finally. So an update today is Monday the 26th of June. I just went to the doctors and to check it down there because the bleeding had slowed down. I don't have any pain which is not good because I know there's still stuff in there. Um, and they checked me and the baby is already out so there's only um, like the uterus wall is still really thick so that stuff still needs to come out but the baby's already gone. I left it there so that they can check for genetics and but they told me since it is so small they will probably not get too many answers and I shouldn't put up my hopes too much. So they just gave me some pills that will help the contractions to pick up again. I will take those for the next um, three days so I will probably be in a lot of pain the next few days and the bleeding will continue so that the rest comes out and that everything will look great again down there. So this is my update for now. <laughs> Kinda sad but you know after a while you go into survival mode and just deal with it and yeah I just don't know what to say or think anymore. Hopefully we decided to go on vacation in two weeks to just take some time to ourselves and uh, get our minds off of everything and then after that continue with the fertility clinic and hopefully get some answers. We'll see. Yay, an hour later some more stuff came out and this is blood and you know blood clots and stuff. Today is Tuesday and yesterday a lot of stuff came out with the contraction pills and this is the third package I'm using or I started today the third one and um, but the bleeding has slowed down there's way less contraction so I don't think I need to take the medication for the next few days I think it will be probably all gone already so I will see if I will take it today and maybe tomorrow but then I probably stop because everything that it triggers is diarrhea. I have diarrhea because of the contraction thingies um, because everything is contracting in my stomach area so since there's nothing coming out of the uterus anymore I will probably stop because that's not good to have diarrhea for such a long time so yeah this time it was way shorter than the last few times but I guess my body's getting used to it. I I guess. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Today we have Wednesday and the bleeding is almost completely gone. I only have spottings left, which is great. That means most of this stuff or everything is out. I'm feeling really, really tired since I lost a lot of blood the past few days. Um, so I'm sleeping a lot. But I'm taking lots of iron in and fluids and that should help me for the next few days to feel much better. Um, so yeah, this is basically what a natural miscarriage looks like. It is not just a one day thing, which most of the people think it is. And um, it is lots of pain, it means lots of bleeding and it is exhausting physically and emotionally just really really exhausting and um, if you need your time off take your time off it's definitely deserved so I just wanted to make this video to show some people what a natural miscarriage looks like that it can take a week or longer for the person to go through and I we also went through some emotional things the past few days that we that might have blocked us if even like conceiving our not conceiving but keeping our rainbow baby so we hope that we can resolve those problems and this, the next pregnancy hopefully ends in a healthy baby we are really hopeful for that and we are not giving up yet so Keep us in your thoughts and prayers and I will see you guys in my next video. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.